If you deal with drawings that use lots of layers, or commonly use XREFs, then navigating your way around the layer manager can become a little bit overwhelming. The good news is, BricksCAD has tools to make working with layers a lot easier. In this tutorial, we will look at how filters can assist with taming your layer management. Here I've got a fairly typical site drawing, and when I open the layer manager, you can see I've got lots and lots of layers. Now you may already be familiar with using the basic layer name filter here on the toolbar. This allows us to quickly filter layers based on name. What we're going to look at is the much more powerful layer property filter, which we open by picking on this button. The layer property filter allows us to filter layers not just on name, but on additional layer properties. What's more, these filters are saved for reuse along with our drawing file. Now I have the pane open, you'll see that I already have a number of filters set up. So let's see how they work. Then I'll come back and show you how to create them for yourself. As I pick down the filters, notice how the layer manager updates to reflect my selection. Also you can see I'm not restricted to filtering by name. I can also filter layers by their properties, such as filtering all the layers that are locked, or all the layers that are off. You don't need to have the filter pane open to do this either. You can switch property filters just as easily from the layer manager. Now if I close the Drawing Explorer and look at layers on the layer toolbar, you can see that the layers aren't being filtered. Wouldn't it be useful if we could see the filters from here too? Well you can! Returning to the Drawing Explorer, we can turn on Apply Layer Filter. Now when I look at the layers on the toolbar, I just see the filtered list, allowing me to quickly find the layer that I want. So now we know how to use layer property filters, let's look at how we can create them. From the filter pane, I pick the new button to open the filter builder. For our first filter, we'll create one to filter on layers related to annotation. First I'll filter for layers ending in text. You'll see that the filter builder includes a preview of our filter settings. I can also add additional filters to include other layer names that might be used for annotation. In my case, BricksCAD will filter layers ending in text, or anno, or txt. Let's create another filter based on a layer property such as locked. Picking on the locked icon in the drop down, you'll see that the preview filter updates to show only locked layers. If I now pick the off property on the same filter line, you'll see I can further narrow my filter to show only layers that are locked and off. Finally, Let's create a more sophisticated, name-based filter to filter out XREFs. I know XREFs always have a pipe symbol separator, so I'll filter on that. In the preview, you can now just see XREF layers, which isn't what I want. I want the opposite. To get to the opposite, I simply update the filter and add the not wild card, or tilde symbol, in front of my initial filter text. Now in the preview, I'm showing all layers except for XREFs. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please be sure to check out the other great videos on Brixis TV. Download the free trial version of BrixCAD at www.brixis.com.
and check it out for yourself.